What's going on all you uh, boob tubers out there? It's Matt with Beardius Gaming coming at you with episode 7 of Fallout 1 backslash a post-apocalyptic nuclear adventure. Where we last left off, Albert was getting his um, kind of kind of neighborhood watch on and he was going to uh, a local raider outpost, uh, which you see here. And he was uh, he was going to do Shady Sands a solid and make their future a better place. Um, of course, as far as the Raiders concerned, as you can see over here, um, it involved um, a lot of bullets, a lot of open chest cavities, and um, a lot of spilt claret. Now uh, we're really just finishing the job here. So that being said, let's roll in. This guy's got a he's going to shoot me. And let's see if we can't see if we can't roll up on him. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna go for burst mode right in this guy's grill. Actually, we missed a guy down here last episode. So, all right, let's see what we got here. Full metal jacket, FMJ. God, Ian is just lucking out. He's got tons of ammo. So I should have kept that for myself. Jesus, you know, here's a stem pack. We need that. So we're going through those like it's out of going out of style. I'll leave the beer bottle. The beer bottle, eh. Take the knife. Alright, let's roll out. Let me get a sip. Whoo! Alright. Got a sip. And crank out another med pack. Jesus Christ. There. Alright. Let's scoot on down here. Let's get my submachine gun ready. Let's swing wide. And he's going to come on out. And Ian's going to show him what's up if I don't first. Burst it. Combat over. Oh yeah. Let's get some of these caps in here. Can we get another armor? All right. I think that'll set us up in ni nice enough for the armor. Let's reload this bad boy. I'm going through ammo like no tomorrow too, so you have to excuse me. We might not be able. This might end up screwing us in the long run. Swinging wide. Come on, big boy. Mm. Let's just do a single shot. Let's see if we can't. Hopefully Ian will take him out before he can... Ian, no! Wasted effort. This chick's got a pistol too, so... That's brilliant. Oh, Ian's taking shots now. Ian's taking... The guy just used a stim pack? That S of a B. These guys are using stim packs now. That's bullshit. There we go. Miss. 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 There we go. Let's see if we can take a long bomb. 45, do it. Oh, she's down. She's down for the count. What are you talking about, hostile creatures? Alright, let's steal all his caps anyway. That'll come in handy. And let's see if we can steal this guy's caps. Yep. Not a lot. These guys are kind of poor. I mean, they got a lot of guys. I mean, they're living in tents, but I mean, I guess post-apocalyptic wasteland. You can't beggars can't be choosers, right? Can't even imagine what I'd be living in. Probably living in a cardboard box. There we go. All right, let's see what this girl was packing. There we go. Yes, finally some ammo for me, not Ian. 
Can we take the pistol? Yep. I was worried about weight. I don't really want to be running back and forth. I have done that. Um, just to maximize. It was kind of a min-max run, but... Okay, I'm gonna hate... I'm gonna douse another... Yet yeah, another med pack because this chick's got a gun. She's probably gonna get a freebie shot off. But she's gonna miss. So, hmm. Let's just go point blank. The slaves are going to kind of want meander around. Hopefully they won't get caught in the crossfire. Crossfire! Ian, come on, bud. There we go. And combat resolved. All right, let's see what we got here. I think this is probably... All right, so that's got some TNT. Got some shoddy. Let's get these. And I'm going to take the lockpicks. That'll come in handy. Ooh, maxed out again. So let's talk to our buddy Ian and throw some more weight on his shoulders. Let's throw some more. I mean, as if he doesn't have enough. Let's just give him these two things. I don't know how much those things weigh, but can't hurt, right? Give him these. I know these things are probably weighing a ton. Give him yet another deagle. More ammo. More ammo. And let's offer. Thank you. What the hell? All right, shoddy, leather jacket, lock picks, done. Let's save it. Sometimes there are booby traps, I will admit. There are booby traps and sometimes they can sneak up on you. Wow, these guys have just got tons of deagles. All right, let's see if we can't get into this desk. For more shotgun shells. All right, all right, we'll take them. Take the 44 mag ammo. And let's see what's in this little ice chest. Nothing. That's a load of crap. That's a crock of shit. Oh, a couple Molotovs. Let's take them. Why not? We're going to be offloading a lot of this stuff later on, just so you know. Another ice chest. Alright, let's just make sure we got everything. Make sure there's nothing squirreled away in here. Alright, we're good. Let's go talk to the slaves, see how they're feeling. Thank you for saving me. Okay. You gonna get out of the way, honey, or do I gotta cap you? Alright, I'm not waiting around. Let's roll, Ian. Let's get out of here. And then... Well, actually, let's just go back here. Let's save the game, because I think I've got... i got quite the haul ahead of me. Alright. Let's go down to Junk Town. And we're in for an encounter. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, man. This is bad. Alright. Well, what can you do? Get it, Ian! Alright, we're surrounded. And all we can really do is just hope we hope hope we can hope we can um, outlast this. Hopefully, hopefully we're going to outlast the battle of attrition. All right. 
One more. Now well, Ian's got a stim pack. See, that's why you give him stim packs. Let's just walk right up. So there's take the guesswork right out of it and blast that fool. Let's reload while we got some AP. Turn it. Hey, the fuck's that all about? All right, let's roll out. Well, see, not too bad. As you go on, the like, encounters. I mean, depending on what kind of encounter you get into, of course. But I mean, if you if you face that right at the very beginning, my my only suggestion is just to haul ass, just run, make a runner. That's all I can really suggest. Making our way down to Junk Town. Hopefully, we'll be good. No more randos. Junk Town. Here we go. Entrance. You better put that away. Junk Town is a friendly place, friend. We won't keep it. And we want to keep it that way. Sounds fair. By the way, what is the local law regarding weapons? Good you asked. No weapons can be drawn except in self-defense. If you start a fight, it's your fault. Other than that, it's your right to go around armed. Just don't pull a knife or gun without just cause. Have a good day. See, that's what I'm talking about. So, we gotta put that away. Just to make them easier. And let's talk to this guy. Kalnor. I'm sorry, the gates are closed for the night. Come back in the morning. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir, but I would like to enter your town. You can see that I would cause no harm. Well, I shouldn't do this. But you seem like a nice enough person. Come on in, but don't make any trouble. See, that's where speech comes in. I think if you didn't have a high enough charisma or um, a high enough speech check... Um, it would just kind of backfire. Let's see what we got here. What's in here? Well, let's talk to this guy first. He looks heavily muscled, scarred man with a mustache. Can I help you, stranger? So what's there to do around here? Plenty, as long as you stay on the good side. We got Killian Darkwater store, where you can do some trading. And there's Gizmo's Casino, if you're a gambler. Or if you just want a drink, you can head on over to the scum pit. Just don't get too rowdy. Thanks. I don't think Albert would like a rowdy time. Can you give me a big picture on Junk Town? Me and my men here work for Killian Darkwater. We keep some order in this town, dealing with all the murderers, thieves, and other scumbags who come in from the desert. If you want my advice, you'll also stay away from Gizmo. That fathead runs a crooked operation, but we just haven't been able to prove anything. He and his lackeys, the Skulls, are going to take the fall sometime soon if Killian has anything to say about it. So what keeps you law boys from just busting Gizmo in the skulls? Got to do it all proper like. We know that Gizmo runs a rigged operation and all, but we need hard evidence to bring him down. Same with the skulls. They rough someone up and we bring one or two of them in. But nothing changes. We just don't have any direct evidence tying them to any of the killings or muggings. Maybe I can help you with that. Hell, if you think you can get some dirt on either of them, we'd appreciate the help. Killian's the one to talk to if you want to take out talk about gizmo but if you get some info on the skulls just come back to me and the boys will take care of them okay so it sounds like we got a uh, kind of a power struggle going on here sounds like this town's up for grabs what's in here junk town guard 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 Sounds like this is the barracks Let's see what this guy is he looks like a clerk you're okay thanks I try to be At the hospital. Let's see what we got going on over here. How's it going? Good, and you? The cougar is always fine. Hey, I gotta know. You need to talk to my man Flash here. He can help you out. Okay. Let's talk to Flash. We're closed. Come back later. When is the doctor here? The doc sees patients from 8 to 5. Now get out of here. Okay. This place is just... They're a bunch of jerk faces. Hell of a hell of an operation. We got the jail. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Andrew. Can I help you? Who are you? I'm Andrew. My job is to guard the jail. What are you doing? I'm guarding the jail. I make sure that miscreants don't get in or out. Why would you keep people from getting in the jail? 
Someone might leave something to help a prisoner escape. Or someone might get locked inside and stuck until we could get the keys. Oh, you have a good day. And stay out of trouble. And what's up here? Junk Town Citizen. Well, let's save it. I haven't saved it in a little while. Since our raider adventure. Let's talk to this guy. This is my place. Want to hang out for a while? Jesus, what a creepy invite. What a creepy invite. Let's head on up to the next section. Got the general store. Let's see what we got. That sounds like Killian's place. What's over here? Is that just like a shack? Probably. Probably a manure shed or something. These guys are heavily armed. Well, let's rest. And two hours. I think they open at eight, if I'm not mistaken. This is Killian's, a general store. Killian's a good man, and they have plenty of stock. Ian's good for that. He's good for just kind of filling in some, some random info. All right, let's get over here. Welcome to Junk Town, stranger. What can I help you with? Who are you? My name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? My name is Albert. I come from up north. Not much up that way except desert and shady sands. You from there? No, I come from a vault to the west. Oh yeah, sure you do. And when you were a baby, your crib was a safe. <laughs> you got my joke. I actually come from a village not far from Shady Sands. Yeah, if you say so. So, what do you need? How about, you, how about telling me a bit about this well, town? Junk town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. Problems? From outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls. And I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. Well, Junk Town's not much, but it's home. What's there to do in this town? To do. The scum pit's on the east side by the entrance. Great drinking place. Gizmos is near there. And if you're hurting, Doc Morbid's your man. Thanks. Do you own this store? You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. Okay. Oh, here we go. What's this creeper doing? Oh, Ian just took some. Eh, let's go. Let's roll up on him. Switch. This guy's not looking like he's too armored. Pop him. Turn it. Oh, Ian just getting vengeance. Ian getting vengeance. Getting righteous. Getting 40k on his ass. Alright. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? Me? What do you need me for? Now, if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. The way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? Whoa, sounds uh, kind of dangerous. I'm not going to lie to you. It will be dangerous. But I'll owe you one, and Killian Darkwater always pays his debts. What do you mean, pays his I'll debts? tell you what, anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. 
All right, let's see what he's got. Let's see if we can offload well, some of our shit. What can I do for you today? All right, let's barter. Okay, let's get some of these stem packs. That's not too much. That's all you got, man? That's all you got? All right, whatever. Give you some of these knives in return. How about that? Let's see what we got for three of them. Three, let's slap another one in there. Not quite enough. All right, all right, you drive a hard bargain, Killian. Give you 16 caps. Top it all off. All right. There we go. Mm, give me that ammo too. Why not? Give me that. Give me them ducats. 29. Uh, let's give you a bottle of liquor. I'll give you a bottle of. Give me a bottle. Of, looks like Goldschlager. 10. 20. Eh, let's just give it all to you. 30. That's close enough. I'm close enough. I'm losing a cap on it. Not a big deal. Okay. We got all that. I think that's about as best as we're going to get. Best as we're going to do. Alright. Let's level up and then we'll call it. We'll call it on this episode. Okay. Let's see. Let's get speech going. Get that up to 100. Let's get our small guns up, because we're going to be primarily fighting with small guns when it does come down to it. And let's dump a couple... Dump a couple articles into that. First aid, Dr. Sneak, Lockpick, Steel. Let's get that going. So we are going to be probably stealing a little bit. I'm not going to make any bones about it. We will be stealing a little bit. Repair... Maybe, maybe. Doctor Melee. Gambling. Gambling's so useless. Alright, well. So, eh, let's just crank up the barter. There we go. We'll dunsky that. We take all that stuff off him? Oh, he's got an assault rifle. Let's take that. We're taking that. We're definitely going to be able to use that. We're going to be able to use that more than him, right? All right, I think that'll be a good enough spot to cut off the episode. Uh, where we next uh, we will take off and cut off here. And we'll start actually getting into Junktown proper. That was really... It was really no easy way about it. The, uh, the, the raider camp kind of went a little bit longer than I would have liked. And kind of left us, left us in an awkward situation in terms of um you know episode cuttage but we'll get into the we'll get into the meat and potatoes as it were in the next episode give me all that loving down below share like subscribe give me some comments show me i'm not just talking to myself and uh see you on the flip side